The purpose of this video is to show you how you can have documents downloadable on your e-commerce website for specific products. So things like drawings, specifications, uh, anything related to, you know, any documentation related to a product uh, that you want your customers to be able to download and review. Uh, I'm going to show you how to, how to set that up in Odoo. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have documents installed, inventory, website, e-commerce, and also that you're in debug mode. And then I'm going to go to the product record here. I'm going to open up a product and I'm actually going to use Odoo Studio. And Studio is going to let me create here a new tab. The new tab, we'll call it uh, Documentation. And within the Documentation tab, I'm going to add two new fields. I'll make them HTML fields here. One. And, oops, I'll actually add one more. We'll call this one. And while that's loading, we'll call this drawing, and we'll call this one specs. So I'll have one here. We'll rename it to drawing. Oops. And this one we will rename to specs. And now once you've created these, that load okay perfect now that that's done we close it out and then I'm going to actually go to document management app and I'm gonna get a link here for a, for a document and here you can copy the link document list valid until expiration date and name the link we're just gonna X out and I'm gonna go back to my product template and I'm going to update my documentation here and I'm gonna say drawing 2019 and I'm gonna link it apply the link, and I'm going to say specs 2019. Same thing. I'm just going to use the same link for the sake of uh, keeping the demo simple. But now we have these two items saved, and we can save them here. And now we see that they're linked nicely. So next step is to go to the website and actually go right through here. And now once I'm in the website, and it specifically on the product page, and it can be any product page. I'll go to Customize, HTML, CSS Editor, and here I will edit the HTML and CSS of the page to include what I want it, uh, what I want to include. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, oops, not that, but I'm going to drop this down, go up one, and I'm going to say the uh, P. And more specifically, I'm going to say uh, the uh, class equals muted, uh, class equals, excuse me, text muted. I'm going to close that. And now under here, I'm going to say P, or excuse me, I'll say, um, let's create a bold. I'm going to say product specifications I can spell today and then I'm actually going to go on one below and here is where I'm actually going to define my um, T field is going to equal product dot and I actually need a name of the field that I just created um, which here and the name of that field I believe is X studio drawing so I'm going to say um, X Studio Drawing. Oops. Oops. I'm actually going to exit that out as well. Make sure I have that right. Yeah, it looks good. So I'm going to close this. And I'm actually going to add one more. PT field equals product dot X Studio specs and close. And now I'm going to save it. And when I save this, there we go. If I refresh just to be safe, now you will see anyone who visits my website under this description. We can still add a description. I can still go to edit sales and say, um, this is a great product. You should totally 
buy it. And if I refresh here, you'll still see the description is right there. And under it, you'll have your product specifications linked. And now if I right click and open a new tab, I can pull the link here. An example, that's a parking ticket. Of course, this is downloadable now, and I can easily view that specific uh, link. Or you can also click it, and it'll just refresh the browser and take you right here to an Odoo uh, portal type of environment where you can uh, see all of that information. So obviously, it's just HTML, CSS. You can use that to place it anywhere you want on the page here. Um, you can get more creative. You can make these bold so on and you can have as many as you want, so on and so forth. So um, that's the process. Again, if we just publish this on the website, if I go to incognito to log out, you'll see it's now available to the public in the same way as I'm not logged in and it's fully there. So if you have any additional questions or if you're interested in understanding more about how you can have this sort of functionality in your Odoo environment, then feel free to reach out to me and I'll be more than happy to uh, help you, help you uh, reach that goal. You can find the, my email and contact information in the description of the video. Please, if you like the content that I'm creating, uh, subscribe to my channel and I'll be uh, more than happy to you know, take any um, requests in terms of videos you'd like to see in the future. Thank you.